I was so impressed with the SMSL P0100 Pro DDC, I decided to give its sibling a try. This is the SMSL D0100 Pro DAC. We have documentation. Looks like a fairly hefty bit of stuff there. This is an IEC cable. So this thing has a built-in power supply, no brick to speak of. A remote control because this is a preamp as well, I believe. So for the volume, if nothing else, and potentially switching inputs, USB uh, C, A to C connector. So this thing does take USB C input for those devices, and then a Bluetooth receiver. That's kind of handy. And what do we have here? This is the back to start with. We have, oh, look at that, both balanced and unbalanced outputs. For digital inputs, we have a coaxial, uh, the RCA there, the Toslink optical. We have the USB-C input, which we assumed would be here, as well as the connection for the Bluetooth antenna. And finally, we have an HDMI ARC input. Not an I squared S, but HDMI, so if you are incorporating that with your home theater system, then of course the IEC inlet. Uh, lots of neat stuff there. Let's take a quick look at the front. And that's very clean uh, look to the whole thing. It's quite hefty. I'd say it's probably five pounds or something. I am going to be comparing this lovely device. Look at all those fingerprints. Yay. With another uh, inexpensive Chinese DAC, although this one's half as much money, uh, but a little different. It's the FIO. K11 R2R DAC. On the back, it's got, of course, a Toslink coax input. Uh, also has USB input. It does require a power brick and has only RCA outputs. So not quite as flexible, but it's got lots of blingy lights on it if you're into that kind of thing. And then the final one that I probably will compare within this group is a slightly more expensive Cord Mojo 2, which I use for uh, on the go usage and of course there's the little blingy lights we're going to see so we'll do a comparison of that maybe throw in something else along the way talk to you soon